We're gonna go ahead with the proceeding of installing the driver. I extracted it to the folder. Go ahead and hit custom. Let's see if this takes care of it. And if this doesn't, then I'm gonna do it look manual. Look right there, I can see it right there. That's some bus driver. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We're going to find out right now. This is select all, which is already selected. And hit next. Accept. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful thing? It's gone. So the SM bus driver is taken care of. So. I'll give you guys a quick recap. Open up your Internet Explorer browser. You're trying to install Windows 7 64 bit. It's the Shiba Satellite LA75D 7332. And this might work on different models also. Um, this is the one with the AMD. And remember, this has the CPU and GPU all in one. You know, so when you install the display driver, it's all actually installing the chipset drivers, GPU driver, etc., and some bus drivers. So, um, go ahead and type in this model. Okay. This is the Shiba support slash drivers. Okay, from their website. So, once you get there, I'll back up to show you what I did. Select Windows 7 64 bit and then select display. And then all I did was chose the AMD display driver. Downloaded it, saved it, and then what I did was I created a folder and I extracted it everything to this folder here. As you see, it's called new folder. Basically, extract it, extract um, 7-zip or um, WinR. You should be quite familiar with that if you're doing something like this. If not, there's plenty of videos and or post a question on how to do that. But extract it into a folder and run the setup exe. And so now, my Windows 7 64-bit is running on this Toshiba satellite this particular model with all the drivers with the exception of the Ethernet which I should find pretty simple and easily but this one was a pain so again as a recap go and type in that Pacific model specific model I'm sorry that I, I told you to type in and this is where um, I found some of the information from from this website here from Microsoft community so it's not just me throwing information off the top of my head. This was um, what I found from digging around on Google. But you just go to AMD Display Driver and download it for that particular model. So help me out. Helped a lot of people out. And I like to thank Microsoft Community for helping with something that was scratching my head and I could not find that driver so, um, remember extract it to a different folder extract it to a folder run and set up exe because if you just hit the start it might not exactly install everything that you need okay it's Robert Gen X thanks for watching